hello, hello. I got some weird paint for you. Um, this is Supremacy from Macy's. So here's the thing about Macy's, and I learned this while talking to a friend of mine who isn't from New York City and thus doesn't know that Macy's was once upon a time the shit. <laughs> Macy's was the department store, was the store to go to to get everything for about half a century from like early 1900s. Um, I'm in New York City, so we still have the giant flagship store with the 100-year-old uh, escalator, wooden escalator, something like that. Um, but yes, once upon a time, Macy's was a place to get everything. And the supremacy, which I like the pun, super Macy, haha, -ha, points. Um, supremacy was just the label that they put on everything that wasn't actually made by Macy's, but sold at Macy's. They would buy, essentially, licenses to have other products in their store. Like what brands do nowadays, they they buy a license and they put their own label on it, but they put their special label so you know it's not actually from them. I think some brands do it now with lower quality uh, products, but it got the Macy's Bureau of Standards thing going on. And I got these two paints. This is definitely a solid 10 years older than this. The typography is different. The packaging, I think this is a replacement cap. I'm not sure, it doesn't really. I think I've seen this cap on another brand before. Not sure though, but these are definitely from two different decades. So the Supremacy line was around for a while, but I could find nothing on Google about Macy's oil paint specifically, but it was just so weird that I had to get this stuff. Um, I expect that this is a lower quality paint from the 60s and this probably from the 1950s um enamel tubes the enamel painted tubes didn't start popping up until the early 1960s so this paper label is probably from the 50s and this from the 60s that is my guess this has already burst once before as you can see by that little line there which is not promising um but I am not going to do the cadmium red medium today because I think I've done a few too many videos about red paint right now. But I know I've done Prussian blue with Windsor & Newton before. I doubt this is Windsor & Newton. Windsor & Newton was too high quality a brand. Um, the lower quality brands of the time were, I think, Craft Tint and Permanent Pigments. And then there were probably like a bunch of nameless brands like we have now. Like you could just go to uh, a low quality art store and buy just unnamed generic name thing the same thing happened there um it has pigment information but this has like slightly different font but yeah just giving you a little look-see um we are going to compare this to modern Windsor and Newton I do have vin vintage Windsor and Newton but I don't really want to use waste it too much this I it's already burst once, so I expect this to not be that that fantastic. Mostly I bought the set for this. But yes, we are going to mix it. We're going to compare. It's probably going to be at least a little different. But we are going to take a look anyway. I'm wearing gloves because I, I do that with vintage paints. Even though I think 1950s is a little bit better time period for my little self-given quest of painting something only in vintage paints. Yes, I know the 60s was a while ago. I still don't care. I still want to get 50s or before for that. But yeah, we are going to have a little bit of fun. Let's see how much of this even comes out. The seller of this that I got from eBay put pictures of him actually scooping some of this out, which wasn't really necessary. But look, some of it is green. Hmm. Yes. It's, ooh, this is not coming out correctly. Oh, that is stiff. That's definitely stiff. Vintage Grumbacher, Grumbacher has the same problem that its paint stiffens over time, no matter how recent or old it is. Grumbacher, Grumbacher, someone correct me. Um, That paint from the 50s, 60s, 70s stiffens very badly. But Windsor & Newton tends to last, and that's why I'm sticking to Windsor & Newton over other brands. Oof, look at that. Okay. It's gonna be difficult to use things like this. This is mostly for display. I got it because I could. Because I am a collector of things. I went from collecting Transformers figurines to painting and the collector mentality didn't wear off. So yeah, we're gonna mix it with a little bit of white. 
I don't think it matters which titanium white we use for this, so I'm just using whatever, the Williamsburg that I can't, was at the top of my white pile. I have a whole collection of just white paint from different brands, and I don't really know why. It just kind of happened that one. Oof, that is not mixing correctly. <laughs> okay. That is an interesting shade. That wasn't what I expected. Not sure if Prussian is, is supposed to be that color, but here we are. I'm not sure why I cleaned off the blue after I used it when I was going to mix it anyway. I'm just, uh, things are happening today. Now we got modern Prussian blue. And we're going to see how that works. Yeah. There we go. Ah, I got some. Um, e. Ah. Ah. This is why I wear gloves. Yes. Like, primarily that looks similar. A little off. You could already tell. Trying not to get the blue on the white. There we go. Oop, I can't get it. I'm trying not to touch the bottles with this blue thing on my hand. Trying not to cross-contaminate. If someone really wants me to make a video with the cadmium red, I will make a video with the cadmium red. But I think we've had a few too many videos with cadmium red. I maybe I did not put enough white. I think we'd put a little bit more white. That didn't really... Like, coming out differently. Mm. I have a lot of white paint, so I can waste a little bit. I'm still working on getting vintage white paint for my project. That is a different blue. That is a different blue. Yeah, that is... I probably should have gotten the vintage Windsor and Newton Prussian out, but uh, here we are. So that is a completely different shade of blue. And I don't know if it's because of the age of it or whatever brand this is. It's not Windsor or Newton, I'll say that right now. Probably not Grumbacher, Grumbacher. Someone correct me in the comments. Um, probably a lower quality paint was used for Macy's and they slapped their name on it at some point in the 50s or 60s. Um, this is definitely from the 50s though, I tell you that. Uh, but yeah, we got all of that. We got a nice little thing. I also got some black, but ivory black seems weird to compare against other ivory blacks because you're just going to get ivory black regardless of what brand it is. Um, but if anyone really wants me to compare the cadmium red medium to other cadmium red mediums, let me know because I really will. But yeah, you got some Prussian blue. Here's another, I'll just put that in the video for a little tested and approved by Macy's Bureau of Standards, made for Macy's New York. Yeah, here we go, ferrocyanide. And whatever aluminum stearate is, I do not, I do not know enough about the making of oil paint to know what that is. But yes, probably from the 60s, it's leaked a little, it's exploded a little, and it's very stiff, but yeah. I, yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to find that anywhere, but I still suggest vintage Windsor and Newton for things. But yeah, this was a little video about really old paint. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.